Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of changing an improper fraction to a mixed number. We will do it using pictures and the standard algorithm and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So our first improper fraction is 9 fourths and it's improper because the numerator, the top number, is larger than the denominator and it does not look like a normal fraction. Typically your numerator is smaller than your denominator. So let's see what that looks like in a picture. So I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to break it up into four sections because our denominator here says it's fourths. And I'm going to see how many holes it takes to get up to nine fourths. So right now I've got four fourths. Then I'm going to draw another hole, break it up into fourths, five, six, seven. And there's another four fourths, so I've got eight fourths so far. So I'm just going to draw a third circle, break it up into fourths, and I'm just going to shade in that last fourth. And now I've got nine fourths. So if I wanted to rewrite this as a mixed number, what I need to do is I need, I need to see how many holes I have. I've got one, two holes. So I'm going to write this as a big two, and then my fraction that's left over here is one fourth. So two and one fourth is the same as nine fourths. That's just two different ways of looking at it. But how can we do this without drawing a picture? If you ever needed to do this without drawing a picture, the standard algorithm or the normal way is to use division. So take your improper fraction and what you're going to do is you're going to divide up. You're going to take the four, you're going to divide that into the nine. So let's take a look at this. We're going to take our four, that's our denominator, we're going to divide that into 9 because we want to see how many whole sets of 4 we can get out of our 9 fourths. So 4 is going to go into 9 two times. So that's going to be our whole number right here. So out of the 9 fourths, you can get 2 holes out of there. Then you complete the division by doing the normal division steps. You multiply, you subtract. 9 minus 8 is going to be 1. That's our remainder, and that signifies that we've got one little piece left over. So what that one is, is the remainder becomes the numerator, and don't forget your denominator is going to stay as a 4. So you can do it with a picture, you could do it by just using division. Let's look at another example. Let's take the improper fraction of 17 sixths and turn it into a mixed number. So let's start with a picture. We're going to take a whole and we're going to split it up into sixths. We're going to shade all the pieces in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's keep track of our six. We've got six six. That's our first hole. We can get another hole out of here. So we're going to have seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve sixths so far. And we're going to be able to get most of that last circle shaded in, but not quite every single piece. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17. So I've got 17 sixths. That's what it looks like. Let's count our holes again. We've got one hole. We've got two holes. So that's going to be our whole number here. Then I've got one, two, three, four, five sixths. So 17 sixths is the same as two and five sixths. Now, remember the standard algorithm is you divide. So let's take our 6, that's our denominator, we're going to divide that into our numerator, 17. See how many holes we can get. 6 goes into 17 twice, that's your whole number right here. 2 times 6 is 12. Subtract to see how many pieces are left. We've got 5 pieces left, so that's going to be your numerator, because that's your 5, 6 right there. Your denominator stays the same. 2 and 5, 6. Now it's time for you to try. All right, we've got two fractions for you to change into mixed numbers. For a bonus, try to solve 11 thirds by using a picture. Try to change 13 fifths by using division. Pause the video, work them out. When you have your answer, start it back up, check your work. All right, you should have drawn a picture. You see here we have three holes, that makes nine thirds, and we have one two thirds left over. So 11 thirds is equal to three and two thirds. With the 13 fifths, remember we're going to divide up, so 5 goes into our numerator of 13. 5 goes into 13 twice, that's our whole number. 5 times 2 is 10, so that leaves a remainder or leftover of 3, so it's going to be 2 and 3 fifths.